I'm working with the New Perspectives Access 2007 textbook. I'm using Office 2007 Service Pack 2 release and I am noticing that there are some differences between what you see in the book and what you will see on my screen. Starting on page 361, we're going to take a look at the can grow, can shrink properties. Now, what we're going to find, and I'm going to go ahead and select um, um, Grand Rapids here, and I'm going to open up Arrange Property Sheet. And you're going to see that the Can Grow, Can Shrink properties are already set to Yes. You're going to notice that as well in your version. If you click on the Customer, you're going to see that Can Grow is already set to Yes. Mine set to No. It's already set to Yes. but your text is not wrapping. That's a bug in the um, in Access 2007 and even though it's it's set to yes, what you have to do in your version, you'll come in here and you'll see it says yes, but it's not wrapping. Just change it, change it to no, and change it to yes. So I'm going to change mine to yes and now I'm going to come over and click this one and change it from to yes and come back here and can grow to yes and now it's going to wrap so what you're going to see and mine's different because I've already gone through this and I've already changed the properties and so I had to change it to no to get it to look the same way as your screen but what you're going to see when you come in and you select the customer control is you're going to see that your text is not wrapping and the can grow is set to yes so what you need to do is change it from yes to no and back to yes again. Yes, it's a bug. Just do it. The can, sh can grow means that if your text is longer than the space allowed, it's going to grow vertically. What the can shrink means is that if you set um, space within your control, within your report or for text to show and there's no text, you can make it shrink so that it eliminates that space. Okay, so I'm going to close that. The next thing they want us to do in this section is they want us to add a line to a report. And I'm just going to show you my method of adding a line. To add a line we need to go into Design View. And now you notice that I always go up to the upper left to switch from one view to another when it would be even easier to go to the bottom right and switch from one view to another. The reason I go to the upper left is just simply that I've been working in earlier versions of Access and that's the place that you always went to, went before to change and I'm just used to it. Now before I add the line I need to make sure that I have space above my control. I want it to be in the invoice item footer above the sum. I want to make sure that I have space in here for a line. If I don't have space for a line, I'm going to have to create space. So let's say, for example, that you come in and your control looks like this, or your footer looks like this. There's really not much space in there to get a line. Sure, you could do it. But what you can do is you can bring down the footer just a little bit, not much. You don't want to add a lot of space. If you add a lot of space to your footer, what happens is you get way too much space on your page. So you just want enough, just enough, no more. And I'm going to select my control and what I'm going to do is I'm not going to move it with my mouse, I'm going to move it with my cursor. Some of you are really, really steady with your, my, your mouse. I'm not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and I'm simply going to press my down cursor key. By pushing my down cursor key, my control moves down and aligns with the next row of dots. That's snap to grid is turned on by default in our report writing and in our um, forms. And so as you move the control, move a control with your cursor key, it's going to move it to the next row of dots. It's going to snap it to the next row. Now I just click off to deselect it. I'm going to go into my controls group. So I'm on my design, design tab, my controls group. I'll click my arrow, my line, excuse me, my line tool. 
Now to get a straight line, you hold your shift key down as you draw. So I'll click my, hold down my shift key. First I'm going to line the plus sign right up above my control, not on my control, right up above it on that line of dots. I'll use the line of dots as a, as a guide and I'm going to hold my shift key down and click hold and drag. See now if I hold my shift key down, it doesn't matter going up down where I ended it, you're going to draw a straight line. Now my line is too long. I can fix that. I'm going to go to a range and I'm going to um, select my sum as well and I'm going to put to narrowest and so now my line is the same width as my box. Now you want to keep these things the same width. You want to keep them the same width because of the trick that I just showed you in an earlier segment about using vertical sp or horizontal space make equal. And also as you're moving things around, if they're all in a line and they're all the same width, they're so much easier to get a hold of and to move around. Ugh, stop. Okay, now I have a line, it's perfect, and I could draw another one down here or I could copy this line. With it already selected, I'll do a control C to copy it, and I'll click in my report footer and I'll do a control V. Now your line is going to paste into the upper left hand section, upper left hand of that particular section. So there it is. I've got it selected right there. So I've selected it. Now I'm going to do a control C again to copy it and a control V again to paste it. So now I have two lines, one under another, and I want them closer together. So I'm going to use the cursor key trick again, but this time instead of using the just pushing my cursor key, I'm going to hold down my control key because my control key allows me to override the snap to grid. So it's going to move that line up a little bit at a time until I get it pretty close. That looks good. Now I'm going to take these two lines and I'm going to move them up a little bit. The reason I'm moving them up a little bit is I want to fit them in that space right there. And with those two selected, I'll click on, hold down the shift key and I'll click my invoice sum. And I'm going to do to write and I'll move those two lines right above that control. Now let's see how they turned out. So I'll go to print preview and I'm going to go to the last page. Got it. Now if your line, if you mess around with your line and the line gets crooked, like you're trying to resize it manually and it gets crooked, you see now that one is crooked. Ah! Easy way to fix it. Easy, easy way. Even easier than taking it out and putting it back on is with it selected, go to your property sheet, go to format, find the height of the line. The height of a straight line is always zero. The height of a straight line is always zero. So now I got my straight line back. Okay, that's the end of this segment.